Let's take a closer look at your power options when utilizing our Linear Pro gate automation kits. Hey everyone, Jason from Iron Fence Shop. When it comes to automating your driveway gate, people often wonder how they're gonna power it. Luckily, Linear Pro offers two options to allow you to do so. Plug it in directly or use of a solar panel kit. So today I wanted to take a closer look at the pros and cons of each. But before we jump into that, let's take a look at where that power goes. Here I have the control box of our Linear Pro 3000 kit. If you open the cover here, you can see the circuit board or brains of your Linear Pro gate automation kit. Your power, motors, and accessories will all connect into this box and onto this board. The control box comes in two pieces. So if I lift the circuit board control portion off, you can see there's a battery in the back of the box. This battery is what actually powers your gate. Whether you choose plug-in or solar power, they are both trickle charging this battery to keep it topped off. The chosen power source is connected to your control board and not the battery directly. Now if we look here, this Linear Pro kit includes one battery, but you can see that there is a second battery slot in here as well. You can add a second battery accessory to double your power storage. The benefit of this battery power setup is you can still open and close your gate even if your power source is cut off. Let's say a storm takes out the electricity or your solar panel isn't getting enough sunshine. Until the battery goes dead, you can still open and close the gate. So now that we know where the power goes, let's take a look at our options on where the power comes from. Our first option here is having electricity run directly to the gate and using this plug-in transformer that comes standard with the Linear Pro kit. This means you either have an outlet down at the gate or an outlet up at your house. If your plug will be down at the gate or outdoors, just be sure you plug it into a weatherproof outlet with a cover like this example here. Now your plug-in transformer is gonna have two connections here for your wiring. Now the wiring's not included with the kit primarily because we don't know if your gate's gonna be 50 feet from the house or 850 feet from the house. Luckily, the wiring is something you can easily find at most home supply stores. What's required is a 16 gauge, low voltage, dual conductor, stranded wire that can be buried. It would look something like this example here with two wires and the frayed or stranded type of wiring. There are two main pros to using the plug-in power source. One is that it comes with a kit already, so there's no extra accessories to buy. Two is that you're going to get a much more durable and consistent power source. Solar panels can have decreased effectiveness on stormy or cloudy days, and those of us up north in the wintertime can attest that sometimes you get very long stretches of cloudy days, and that can affect performance as well. As I mentioned, the plug-in power source is also going to be more durable. Unlike a solar panel that can be damaged by falling limbs in a storm, or that jerky kid in the neighborhood that likes throwing rocks at signs, your power source is going to be buried along the driveway, and your plug either behind the property line or up at your garage nice and protected. Now the cons of your plug-in power source are going to be twofold, and that's basically going to come down to additional costs and distance. First of all, if you don't have electricity at the gate, it might be kind of costly to run wiring down there depending on your distance. The second is going to be basically how far the gate is from the house. With this being low voltage wire, you can run it safely up to around 1,000 feet, but if your gate's around 1,000 feet or more than 1,000 feet from your house, low voltage wiring isn't gonna work and you'll have to go with the solar panel option. The second power option is our solar panel kit here. This is an add-on accessory and does not come standard with the main automation kit. This is the 10 watt unit kit that we sell. The solar panel accessory comes with the board, 10 feet of attached wiring, mounting hardware, and a bent post to angle the panel up to the sun. Before we jump into the pros and cons of the solar panel power option, I want to go over a few stipulations you should be aware of. Where you're located at in the U.S. can have a profound effect on how well that solar panel option is going to work for you. This map breaks the U.S. into zones, showing the number of open close cycles of your gate per day based on your location, and if it's a dual gate with two pieces or a single gate with one piece. These numbers are based on wintertime. Summertime sun's a little more consistent across the country, but the darker, colder, and cloudier winters up north can strain solar panels. Let's take a look at the two 10 watt lines here since that kit is the one we start with. If you're up north in New York State in zone one, you can get about eight open close cycles with your single gate or four open close cycles with your dual gate. That same gate in Arizona in zone three will get you 26 single gate open close cycles or 13 dual gate open close cycles per day. So quite a difference depending on which zone of the US you're in in the winter time. In addition to the zones, you also need a good spot to mount and point your solar panel. The panel needs to face south in the path of the sun for about eight hours a day. All of these example open closed cycle counts assume a base gate operator kit. Extended cloudy days, extreme lower temperatures, or lots of additional add-on accessories can drive those cycle counts lower. 
However, what if you live in Northern Zone 1, but solar power is your only option and the four open close cycles in the winter isn't gonna cut it? Luckily, you can run up to three solar panels connected in parallel with each other. This allows you to go from 10 watts of charging power to 20 watts of charging power with two panels, or 30 watts of charging power with three panels. All the panels still need to be south facing and free of any shade or obstruction for at least eight hours a day. Now, let's go back to our zones map and see what that does for us. Let's take our zone one New York State example again. With two solar panels providing 20 watts of charging power, we can now cycle that single gate 14 times a day instead of eight, and a dual gate 10 times instead of four. With three solar panels providing 30 watts of charging power, we can now cycle that single gate 20 times a day instead of eight, and the dual gate 16 times a day instead of four. So if you're gonna use the solar power option, there's three things to keep in mind. One, can I get my panel to face south for eight hours a day of sun exposure? Two, what zone of the country am I in and how effective is it gonna be? And three, how many people are in the household and how many open close cycles are you gonna have per day using that gate? Keep in mind too, you can add that second battery in the control box for additional power storage. Now to wrap up, let's go through the pros and cons of solar. Now the pros of your solar panel option are gonna be one, you can drop the gate anywhere regardless of distance from the house. Two is it's free energy from the sun. There's no electricity hookup or draw from the house. So if your gate is a thousand feet or more from the house or getting wiring down your gates too cost prohibitive or difficult, solar panel might be your only option to go with. Now the cons to using solar power for automating your gate are all those stipulations we went over, where you're at in the country, how many accessories you have connected, how many times you're going in and out of the gate. Those are gonna have a lot more draw on your solar panel option than your plug-in option. So those are all additional things you're gonna to have to keep in mind. I hope these details help you decide which power option's best for automating your driveway gate with our Linear Pro 3000 kit. Be sure to check us out here at ironfenceshop.com. Want to see more on what comes in that Linear Pro 3000 kit? Check out this video we did over here. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 800-261-2729 or shoot us an email at sales at ironfenceshop.com. We look forward to hearing from you.